Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a simple solution to securing your tackle boxes in the recessed areas of your kayaks. Many kayaks have these recessed areas so you can place in tackle boxes like this, like so. But unless they're in there securely, they can wobble around and actually slide under your seat out of your way. So I'm going to use a simple bungee cord setup that will secure your tackle boxes in there so they don't move around. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the parts I'm going to be using in the project. I chose 3 16 in diameter bungee or shock cord because that will be strong enough to hold in the tackle boxes that I'm going to use. And then I also chose a 2 inch in length D-ring to attach the shock cord. This is the left side of the kayak recess area where I'm going to mount my D-rings. And I've chosen four locations for pilot holes, which is here, 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 and here. And I will attach the D-rings using stainless steel screws and marine goop to make sure that there's a tight seal. All four D-rings are installed, so now I'll be threading the shock or bungee cord through them. This is the finished product. I've threaded the bungee or shock cord through the D-rings in an X design because that will have the maximum retention value. Then I tied both ends together in a knot and on either side of the knot I used small zip ties to make sure it doesn't come undone and at the clipped ends of the bungee I melted them to make sure that the fabric doesn't run. And just a little helpful hint that I like to give is that whenever I drill holes or, or cut anything out of the kayak, I like to save the pieces because they come in handy if you want to do future repairs. So, now that it's all done, we'll just slide the tackle box in there and you see it holds it very well. And if you put a larger one in, it will expand to accept that. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.